Let's now talk about how to merge different materials together in one single object. So if you take a look at the fractured concrete and go to the geometry spreadsheet, you may remember that a name attribute was created. This attribute was created with the RBD material fracture node and it can also be created with a Voronoi fracture. But now if you take a look at the wood material, this geometry doesn't have the name attribute and we will need that if we want to simulate it with the rest of the packed fragments. So let's do that now. We can add a name attribute with the assemble node. So I will connect the node to the wood geometry. And notice how by default the create name attribute is on. I will turn off the connect inside edges. We don't need this option. But there's something that I want to change. By default, the name will be piece and a suffix number. I want to add the name wood before piece. So I will go to the output prefix property and type wood underscore piece. So now we have a unique name for both concrete and wood geometry. So let's now merge these two geometries together. And now we can pipe this geometry here to the null. So let's go back to our scene view. Of course, we now have the wood beams and everything should work as expected. So if you want, just make a quick test, make sure that everything is working. And then we can proceed to create the constraints.